What's up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out. Before we get going on our video, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. And don't forget that we live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. We also live every Sunday morning with the Singing OG KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And please join the channel. Drop your super thanks and super chats. Support the channel so we can continue to help the channel grow. And also, um, don't forget about the TKO World Series Debate Tournament. It's kicking off. We got round two and the quarterfinals coming to y'all next week, so be sure to tune into that. But let's go ahead and get it cracking, man. Let's go ahead and get it cracking and get into our video. Uh, Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford joined ESPN First Take today. Very interesting interview. Um, so let's talk about it. Number one, they did a good job promoting the fight. And this is where, like, I gave Bud his credit, bro. Thank you for finally, you know, signing the contract and getting the fight done and, you know, doing what you should have did last year. We appreciate that you're giving the fans this big fight. So we appreciate that. But one other thing I do want to say that I'm going to give him props on, bro. He promoting this fight. And he usually ain't doing this shit i like the, you know he dropped the merch and shit um with the you know with the what's that thing called bro it ain't a spear it's the same shit the little mermaid daddy had bro the aquaman shit but anyway the shirt with the aquaman shit little mermaid daddy with the with the shark got that shirt out on his website fire you know what i'm saying get your bread promote the fight yeah all that all that I, I i think bud crawford shirts and earl spence shirts gonna be all across the vegas strip come ju the weekend of july 29th so we you know we in tune we with it 100 no no problem with that and he and he doing the interview on espn first take you know he gonna fry the fish and shit. you know i'm with that i'm 100 with that bro so i do want to give credit for that because he making the fight bigger by behaving this way so um you know respect to that um but the the interview between him and Earl, I, I found it very interesting. They both gave each other their respect and shit. They both gave at each other their respect. It was little subtle, subtle messages in there. You know what I mean? You see Bud say, you know, I'm going to get the job done. You know my motto, I'm going to get the job done. And, and if the knockout come, if I hurt him, you know, I'm trying to knock him out. I ain't got a 100% KO ratio. It well to wait for no reason. I like that shit. I love the energy. Earl said something that I think a lot of people missing, in my opinion, because y'all don't pay attention. A lot of y'all ain't from the South. You know, y'all ain't from Texas and shit. So the way that we talk, our mannerisms and shit, you know, our swag, y'all don't really, y'all don't catch on to it. That's why Texas dudes, we, we got a lot of haters and shit, because we, the way that we move and talk, and it's just, you know, it's just different out here, man. That's, that's all. But Earl said something that already let me know that we ain't got, bro, we ain't getting no boxing match. I'm like, like if you think you tuning in July 29th, okay, and you think you about to see a boxing match, you know, Devin Haney, Vasil Lomachenko boxing match. You understand what, like, Shakur Stevenson, Oscar Valdez, boxing match. Hell, Ryan Garcia, Javante Tank Davis, boxing match. You ain't tuning into that shit. You ain't tuning into that shit. You were tuning in to watch a fucking fight. Like, they, they about to fight, dog. Like, they gonna have their skills and shit. But it's gonna be a fight. And Earl let you know that if you're paying attention, and you listen to, to, to what he's saying. Bro. He done said two things in the last two days that I think people are sleeping on. Number one, he told y'all it's going to be a one-sided ass whooping. It's going to be a one-sided ass whooping. Bud talking about frying fish and shit. That's cool. I like the analogy and shit. A little play on words. But Earl coming straight at it, bro. He coming straight at it. Bro, I'm, it's a one-sided ass whooping. I'm putting on a great performance. I like that shit the other day, but what he said today, I don't think people is catching. So I'm gonna let y'all know what it is. The man said, look, 
Everybody know. Soon as I get in the ring, I'm stepping. Damn, knockout, that's it. Yeah, bro, that's it. Listen, like, some of y'all might be from the east, the west, north. Down here, bro, that... When you stepping, bro, like, that mean you bout, you coming for everything. In the, like, in the streets, when I'm stepping, bro, I'm coming for your life, bro. <laughs> when... When two when 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 you on the street and two dudes get into and dudes say man I, man I'm stepping on his ass but like bro I'm coming for your life so that little message right there like bro do not expect a boxing match fam don't expect that shit do not do not get in that bitch buy the fight I, I'm sure they're gonna sell it for a hundred dollars. I'm sure that what they gonna do, they gonna sell that shit for a hundred dollars. I'm gonna buy it. Take my money, yes. Who on the undercard? Knock out. I don't give a fuck. Take my money. But knock out. Where's the undercard track? I don't care. Take my money. Hundred dollars here, bro. You can have it. No problem. I'm here. I'm there. I'm, I'm 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 with it. Hoping to go to the fight. Right? But those words in that interview right there took away any notion that. Earl coming to feel shit out. That he he coming on some Mikey Garcia. Let me show my jab and outbox you and show you these skills that I got. Like those words down here mean now you got something to stand on. And see, we bought. And if you go pay attention to the content, the very first time Earl Spence said, "Look, man, I ain't taking no goddamn tune up." I said, "All right, Earl." You say you ain't taking no two ups. You want to fight a champion next? It's two champions: Jadenis Ugas and Terence Bud Crawford. At the time, Ugas was in a tournament and not available. I said, "Shit, you, I guess that means you got to fight Terence Crawford or Ugas." If they somehow get out that tournament, what do he do? He fought a champion next. Tune up for people that don't believe in themselves. I'm not apologizing. For my inactivity, once I'm once I announce my next fight, hopefully it all makes sense to y'all. I only want to fight Terrence Bud Crawford next. I don't want nobody. All right, Earl, you got to stand on it. I don't give a fuck about no sixteen month layoff. He stood on that shit. We asked you to stand on what you say, and down here, bro, saying that hey, soon as I see him, I'm stepping. Soon as I get in the ring, I'm stepping. When you say those words, that means you. You gotta stand on that. We don't want you. You ain't going in there to play. We ain't trying to watch you fill out and try to survive. I mean, you going in there and you and, and, and you and you stepping straight to him, stepping straight through him, and stepping on his ass. As soon as you get in the ring, your ass better be stepping, or all us gonna be looking at you down here in Dallas, Texas. Like, bro, you said you was stepping on shit. Cause that's what we do. You got your homie and shit. He see, like, bro, like that. That what that shit mean now. I don't know what that shit mean to y'all, but I caught that shit. Cause down here, bro, like if you if if it's like that, you like, man. As soon as I see him, I'm stepping on him. Now, what that mean? That mean you 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 stealing off on him. Y'all gonna have to fight. That might be involved. Whatever. I'm stepping, bro. When I see that dude, I'm stepping on his ass. Like, okay. Okay, and I'm going to tell y'all this, and we, as we wrap the video, Earl said that. It come down to whether or not you believe him. I'm choosing to believe him because he ain't lied yet. So, Bud Crawford, Bud Crawford fans, Earl Spence fans, Earl Spence himself, all everybody that's watching this video, you might think that shit didn't mean something, but I call it and I know what it means. Earl coming to get that man, bro. He coming to get him. Will he find what he looking for? Will he be able to handle what he, what he looking for? We'll see July 29th. But he made it clear he coming. Can't wait for this fight, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment below, smash the like, sub to the channel. Share the video, turn on your notifications. Don't forget I'm live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 97.30. Appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace out, y'all.